Hi, Steve Farber here. Today's blog post is called Five Great Leadership Risks. And it's not meant as a complete list. I mean, five is actually a relatively short list of the kind of risks that leaders take. But, uh, but I think it's a good starting point. And, and some of them are a little bit counterintuitive. And there's one in particular uh, that sounds uh, not only counterintuitive, but even a little bit odd on the surface. I call it the risk of overcoming adversity. And, you know, adversity, we know it's way too easy, easy uh, and it's also way too easy uh, to give up in the face of adversity. Um, but unfortunately, lots of so-called business leaders will do just that. Take a punch, throw in the towel would make a terrible motivational poster, wouldn't you agree? So we know we're supposed to stand up in the face of adversity and we, uh, we admire people that do that. As, and as an extreme leader, uh, your job, my job, our job is to, uh, is to accept and even welcome um, setbacks, challenges, obstacles, and all other kinds of adversities and try to transform them into opportunities for innovation. Uh, and it's an entirely easy sentiment to agree with. And frankly, every so-called motivational speaker on the planet uh, will, will give you some version of that. And it's really easy to sit there and nod our heads and say, yes, we need to overcome adversity. Um, but here's the thing. Oftentimes, the only way out of adversity, the only way out of a, of a risky situation, of a dangerous situation, of a situation that feels terribly uncomfortable, is to take a risk. Oftentimes, the only way out of risk is risk as counterintuitive as that may sound, but if you think about it, it makes perfect sense. If we've gotten ourselves into a situation or, or, or some terrible event has been thrust upon us and we're trying to figure our way out, doing what we've done before, doing the same kind of thing that got us into that situation to begin with, isn't gonna help, obviously, so we gotta try something new. And trying something new almost by definition means we have to be willing to take a risk. We have to be willing to fail. And of course, failure is something that we interpret as bringing on even more uh, adversity. So oftentimes, as paradoxical as it sounds, the only way out of a risk is risk. So how comfortable are you with the uncomfortableness that it takes to be an extreme leader. And I think this is something that we can condition ourselves to. So see if you can be more aware of the times throughout your day, throughout your work, throughout your career, throughout your life, uh, where you find yourself both kind of scared and exhilarated at the same time at the thought or prospect of going in a direction that you've wanted to go or trying an idea that you've wanted to try and see if you can recognize that uncomfortable feeling and embrace it instead of avoiding it.